Uh, I saw, we all saw a situation in this country uh, about a couple of years ago when a very serious decision was made within 24 hours to uh, stop the uh, use of chemical fertilizer. That for us uh, defied science, it defied common sense, it defied logic. It created a huge, massive problem and we were wondering why such a step was taken and now we are feeling the results of it. It was predicted. Many scientists predicted 30%, 40% reduction in agriculture production due to that decision. We couldn't understand the basic fundamentals of science. We, didn't, we couldn't understand that what we were using were varieties, not only us, all over the world, varieties that were produced during the Green Revolution. These were varieties that responded to chemicals. That's how they were designed. They responded to chemicals. They responded to chemical fertilizer. They responded to pesticides, herbicides. That's what, those are the varieties that were using all over the world. And then, then, and we were doing well, we were okay. And then you said, no, tomorrow we are not giving you this fertilizer. Use something else. So what happens? How can such varieties uh, uh, give that production? They must collapse. We collapsed, we got into a pit. We had to get out of this pit. We could understand the difference between compost, biofertilizer, liquid fertilizer, nano fertilizer. They were all coming into this country from everywhere. So there was no, no proper national plan. There are policies. If you, if, you, if you ask every political party, they have a policy. Okay, there are policies. But how do you implement that policy? You must have a plan to implement those policies. There has to be a strategy. Every strategy must have an action plan. Nothing. Without anything, without knowing where you're going, when you take a drastic decision like that, we are suffering now because of that. That I see as one of the main reasons uh, for this debacle, for this uh, serious situation that we are facing today. So it's not a policy. Policies are there, but we need action plans how to implement these policies. That is what we need. And I think now this is a situation that we must get out of this pit and create a new future. This is my logo. A new future for our children and their children.